bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at the UW Bothell campus. Joining me right now is Karen Gorowski, who is Executive Director of the Suburban Cities Association. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you again. Please for those who don't know, what is the Suburban Cities Association? Does not roll off the tongue for me. <laughs> it does not. It does not, especially if you cannot roll your R's. <laughs> the Suburban Cities Association is an association of the cities um, of 150,000 population or less in the suburban King County. Mm -hmm. And we represent them in the areas of public policy. We provide education, information, those kinds of things for them, networking opportunities. And um, we represent almost a million citizens mm. in the county as cities annex and grow. So and how many cities are we looking at here? Uh, well, we actually represent, from time to time, almost 38 cities uh, because we have appointing authority for approximately 30 regional boards and committees, um, and we appoint almost 130 citizen, uh, uh, electeds to those uh, 30 boards. But actual members, this gets a little confusing, actual members of the association uh, is 35 of okay. those cities. And I would imagine one of the big topics of discussion right now is the economy and just how it's still a downward economy. It's got to be really taking a toll on a lot of these cities, if not all of them. It is taking a toll, and it's taking a toll on all of them, as you might imagine. Um, all of the cities are, in the, are beginning their budget process. Um, some began the budget process some time ago as they were uh, rebasing their budgets uh, because sales tax receipts weren't what they had anticipated. Um, and we are very dependent on uh, both sales tax and property tax in, in this state. And so cities um, were looking at mid-year uh, rebasing of their budgets, and they're planning now um, for their 2011-2012 uh, budgets in some cases, and anticipating, in many cases, layoffs um, mm -hmm. and uh, tightening belts um, and worse. As if that's not enough, but what other priorities or what other topics are, are big among the cities that you represent? Um, in addition to the city's budgets, suburban cities uh, are look, is looking at regional issues. I mean, as I said, we appoint to um, 30 regional boards and committees, and so we take on a ton of issues. But our biggest focus this year is transit, uh, bus service. Mm -hmm. uh, the regional transit system is very dependent on sales tax receipts. Sales tax receipts um, has down. been down. Yeah. Uh, we anticipated a downturn. Uh, we had some reduction in services that um, citizens probably didn't recognize this year. We because are, they were minimal? They were minimal and um, much was done administratively. Mm -hmm. um, we are, are looking at probably a greater reduction in um, the in, on coming years. Um, there was a transit task force that was appointed this year that's been working through the summer and is due to uh, make some recommendations to the county exec at the end of September. And uh, we are anxiously watching the outcome of that task force. Currently, uh, the county is divided into three sub-areas and the majority of the services go to the west sub-area. Um, and we're concerned about um, the suburbs, actually, and what will happen in the suburbs that have, have taken so much growth in the past decade um, without getting additional um, um, transit services uh, that matches the growth it's taken, so to speak. I mean, it has received um, some some transit services, but has been waiting and waiting for additional transit services and was optimistic that we would be receiving additional transit services when the Transit Now uh, program was passed by the voters and then there was a downturn in the economy and, and that kind of uh, went by the wayside. So we've been anxious uh, to see the outcome of the Transit Task Force because it's going to speak to both reductions in services as well as what might happen when there's um, uh, an opportunity to grow services again. So that's um, been where our energies have been focused, as you might imagine. Well, Karen, we are out of time, but thank you so much for speaking with us today. Thank you. Karen Gorowski, Executive Director, Suburban Cities Association. Thanks. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Head my news at the top of the hour.